Hello. 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 And welcome to a very <laughs> vigilante inspired episode of the Weekend Superheroes Why podcast. Why is a car accident funny? <laughs> Have you ever seen one? Yeah, what the f- Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, if somebody it's shoots you, if, if it's not your <laughs> car, start it's off really yeah, funny. Yeah, that's true. All right. Today is Tuesday, January 17th, and sitting with me always, we have Darius, Pat, and Steve. Darius, how are you doing today? I'm feeling great today. Great uh, weekend. How about this? The world is a dangerous place, not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. Who said it, Pat? Uh, I believe that was one of the brothers from the Boondock Saints. Albert Einstein. Oh, wow. Oh, said that. You're pretty I close. That nice. He was the third brother in Boondock Saints. Yeah, Everybody real knows close that. Yeah, uh, they called him Rocco. That was his nickname. <laughs> Steve, how are you feeling today? I feel pretty good. Good to hear. Hey, yeah. uh, tell, me what happened, uh, tell me what happened last podcast. On the uh, last podcast? Exclusively uh, with Darius. Oh, well, I, I mean, I thought you were referencing when Pat and I did the uh, oh, what the did Lazy you guys Boy. Do? The Lazy Boy. That was oh, nice. Yeah. Was Who did we have on? That was a great We post. had Keely. She was a uh, professional cuddler. That's right. And amazing. Yeah. She was a very cool chick. Uh, but with Darius, when we got into the actual interview process, it got a little weird for a second. Which is unusual with Darius. I mean, normally he's really above board with everything. Yeah, usually I'm on point with my uh, interviews, but I... Uh, um, and the ladies love you. You say goodbye to them every week. Yeah. I had a, I guess you can call it a slight pause. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a little more than slight, Darius, yeah. let's be honest. I, I was mean, just taking a deep breath. You looked over at Sean like, uh, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so do, do I tell her I want to have sex with her or no? Do okay. I, do I say something now or... Well, let's take a listen. Uh, in fact, in Thanks, fact can we do a cuddle interview right now with Darius? <laughs> okay, so this is Darius, by the way. Hi, Darius. Hi. Now, say for, in- say for instance you were going to do a cuddle session with him. What are some questions you want to ask or what would the process be to make sure that he wasn't going to murder you? Great question. So I would first off say, um, and Darius, I'm going to put you on the spot. And why did you want to cuddle today? Yeah, Darius, why did you want to cuddle today? Uh, it was a rough work day. I felt a little lonely. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny. Things got a little tough there at work today. You know, a lot of meetings, you know, they stress you out. That makes a lot of sense. I have a lot of clients who uh, nice put their heart and soul into their careers. And that doesn't she always understands. leave the most time for, like, touch and connection outside of that. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, can you guarantee me that your intentions today are entirely platonic and that you're not looking for a sexual service? <laughs> It's even funnier the second time. Darius was like, well, first of all, Pluto's not even a planet, so I don't even know why you're bringing it into this. I hesitated a little. (laughs) She was a cuddler. She's a professional. I'm sitting there being a (laughs) jag-off. You wouldn't call yourself a professional. I, I... During that interview, no, I wasn't being a professional at all. Hey, by the way, jag-off's in the dictionary. What, the, like the Webster Dictionary? Like, like Oxford Dictionary. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Jagoff is in the dictionary. What's the definition? Yeah, I'd love to know the definition. Jagoff, as defined by the Oxford Dictionary, is of U.S. dialect, obviously, chiefly in western Pennsylvania, a stupid, chiefly. irritating, or contemptible person. Origin, 1930s, from Jagoff, perhaps influenced by Jag. See also Darius Cuddler interview. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, moving on. Today we're talking about vigilante. That's the word. Say it with me. Vigilante. Vigilante. Nailed it. According to Mr. Webster. Uh, it's a member. Wow, of we're hitting s- all the dictionaries tonight. A member of a self-appointed group of citizens who undertake law enforcement in their own community without legal authority, typically because the legal agencies are thought to be inadequate so the crime fighters uh it's the people that take the law into their own hands real badasses probably crazy people Batman. Uh, stories of vigilantes oh, they turns out make for great great movies and tv can you guys think of examples like uh dirty harry taxi driver v for vendetta oh, Batman. 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 <laughs> did you all just say that <laughs> he's the most famous vigilante ever come on <laughs> <laughs> Easy spirit animal. Oh, uh, man on fire. You actually said one. Boondock Saints was a fantastic yeah. one. Vigilance. 
uh, uh, how about uh, Michael C. Hall? No, what's that? Is that his name? From the Breakfast Club? Ooh, shit. Michael C. C. Hall. Oh, oh, no, Dexter? Yeah. Is that Michael C. Hall? Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> Dexter's a fantastic one. Uh, the Brave One with Jodie Foster. Uh, law-abiding Citizen, Jared Butler. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jared? Who's Jared Butler? Did I say Jared? Jared. Yeah, it's just like the uh, like it's a butler, the guy in a tuxedo, but you put him in a jar. When two <laughs> pals go walking, the first one does the talking. The other one just gets drunk and does And when the Jameson thing. does the talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are vigilantes. These are the guys that sort of make up their own situation, decide that they are going to be the law now, and move forward. And they take on personas. They take on names. They take on sweet new... Wardrobe, uniforms, whatever alter, the hell you want Alter to call egos, it. if you will. Alter egos, absolutely. Alter so egos. what I did is I went to a website. And did you find porn this in com. Or? <laughs> Did their studies show? <laughs> it was called uh, namegeneratorfun.com. But you had to put in a first name and a last name. And what it did is it came up with your superhero name, your whole backstory, and your superpower. Wait, so you have to put in like your first pet's name or the street you grew up on? <laughs> no, that's really? a different name. That's a different uh, name. <laughs> can, can it be one of the same? <laughs> that's if you're a professional cuddler like Darius. <laughs> so uh, I got all of you, and I'd like you guys to go ahead and say who you are. Did you also get yourself? Of course. Okay. Yes, and your backstory and your superpower. And uh, Darius, why don't you go ahead and start? All right. I am Mr. Razor. Mr. I am a technological mastermind who's already invented many startling devices. But my latest creation has now given me unexpected abilities. Superpower, though. Detachable limbs. I mean... Detachable limbs? Wow. How does that work? That's what it said. Pat, what's your uh, new name? Well, clearly, I am Dr. Amazing. Wow. I'm an experimental scientist who has finally discovered a mysterious elixir that, when ingested, gives me a strange and startling ability. It doesn't say what it is yet, and I'm a little afraid to read the next one. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my superpower is shape-changing. I can physically alter my appearance to impersonate anyone I've encountered and touched. I'm like Shay Sung. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mystique, yeah. I'm I'm Mystique, only hotter. That is freaking sweet. Rebecca Romaine Stamos has nothing Nothing. on me. Absolutely nothing. Or that Jennifer Lawrence girl. Thank you, Dr. Amazing. Thank you, Mr. Razor. Steve, (laughs) would you uh, like to give us yours? I well, should I read this with the exclamation point at the end? Absolutely, I did that. On I am the Silver it. Gladiator. Oh come on! How cool is that? Wait to hear Gladiator backstory. in the slave pits of sorry, Darius. As Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Not okay. Not okay. Uh, and for the record, call him Mr. Razor. Uh, yeah. yeah, Mr. Razor. As Gladiator in the slave pits of a mystical kingdom, I was a renowned warrior who never lost a fight. Now transported to the modern world and given strange new abilities, I must decide whether to use my training for good or evil. Wow. So, so my superpower. Or good? I was saying, are, are you like the guy from the movie Gladiator? Only uh, silver? Uh, yeah, I could be. That's Jared Butler, isn't it? Gerard? <laughs> <laughs> it's Gerard. Jared Butler for the Jared. 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 <laughs> superpower, muscle mimic. I have the ability to instantly learn any skilled physical activity simply by seeing it performed. That is awesome. Wow. I thought you'd like that. I'm, I'm in. I, I know, thought you guys would all sort of like yours. I am well, in. Yeah, I like that. I know Kung Fu. Dude. But just like, just like the spirit animal. Just like. Mine always ends up so horrible. I swear to God, I put my first, last name in, everything. I put it was a male. <laughs> I'm Mr. HTML. I can make a website that'll... <laughs> Gonna render properly on any mobile device. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not that far off, am I? <laughs> it's pretty close. I am <laughs> Professor Dazzle. Oh my god! Wow, do you have to do oh jazz when you say your name? <laughs> Sounds like a stripper name. I am Professor Dazzle. <laughs> my spirit animal is a butterfly, and I'm <laughs> Professor Dazzle. <laughs> And now, coming to the stage, <laughs> Professor Dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> you may have seen him as a butterfly, also in his cocoon earlier. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Dazzle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not a totally new club. Keep your cocoon on. <laughs> Completely symmetrical, Mr. Dazzle. 
Oh, He's Professor like, Dazzle. Dazzle. At least I'm a teacher, all right? I was, at one point, an archaeologist. One point? Porn. I'm a porn star. I'm porn star professional. No, you're not even that cool. <laughs> I was an archaeologist investing ancient... Investing? Investigating ancient <laughs> Egyptian ruins. When I angered the sun god, the Ra. <laughs> now I bear the weight of his power until I find a way of appeasing the mighty deity. My superpower is getting a nice tan. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually for you wouldn't be bad. <laughs> Just getting my nails done. My, uh, Professor Dazzle's superpower is manipulating and controlling light. <laughs> <laughs> I know, none of it's no, cool. No, no, that, 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 yours is cool too. <laughs> My I can instantly spell any word. <laughs> <laughs> I can beat Dazzle any purse. <laughs> What, what no your matter power? the size. <laughs> <laughs> what is your power again? My flawless <laughs> makeup every day of the week. <laughs> the perfect amount of glitter on my eyelids. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful choreography <laughs> to any dance music video you've ever seen. My purse so always you think you matches my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Professor Dazzle. Well, that's my life. I was a butterfly. <sighs> And now I'm Professor Dazzle, but for anyone who refers to the other one by their name instead of their superhero name, Drinks 5. Okay, I want to get back to talking about superheroes. Not Batman or Spider-Man, I'm talking the real-life superheroes that strap on their homemade suits and fight the everyday crimes. There is a movement called the Real Life Superheroes, or the Pat... RLS... H. H. <laughs> the national phenomenon comprised of hundreds of men and women who have superhero alter ego. These are the brave heroes that patrol the streets with the goal of deterring violent crime and, if necessary, taking the law into their own hands. Here's a look at a few. Okay. But we're going to talk about the first one. His name is uh, Mr. Extreme. He's in his mid-30s, a security guard in the daylight hours. Uh, once the sun goes down, he suits up with shin guards, a cape army helmet, and identity protection goggles. Huh. And vigorously strolls into the crime-ridden sidewalks of San Diego, California. His real name? Still unknown. I was going to say, why wear the IDG if you're going <laughs> to give out your real name? <laughs> Been working for over seven years now, armed with nothing more than a taser, handcuffs, and three cans of pepper spray. Huh. Is that in case he gets hungry or gets some bland yeah. fast food? <laughs> yeah. okay. Pepper spray. Nice fry sucked. <laughs> Next guy, real guy, Phoenix Jones. He's also kind of a badass from Seattle, Washington. His real name? Benjamin Fodder. That's right. Uh, Fodder. Hold on. Is he even really a vigilante if you know what his real name is? Yeah, I feel right. like you shouldn't give out your real name. I know. I thought about it too, but he is an actually uh, state. Does that ring a bell? Name? Name ring a bell at all? Benjamin. Fodder. No. Fodder. Yeah. Professional MMA fighter. Uh, you First of all, you said my name is Steve, so you should have to go ahead and drink. <laughs> Fine. Oh, you're, I'd like to point out you're I the only one that had to drink for your stupid I am stupid the silver role. gladiator. <laughs> Dazzle, drink so, five. So you you never heard of this guy? No. Fodder? I can't say I have. Uh, whatever. Phoenix Jones. Phoenix's costume actually is now is a bulletproof vest and armor Plated. Uh, because the first time aren't he went those, out, aren't those the same thing? One of the first times he went out, he got stabbed. So oh wow! He got that. Mm. Then the second time out, he got shot. So he made okay. a bulletproof. Yeah, you might want to get. Maybe uh, the third time you should just not go out. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. just shouldn't be just a third time. In. On Skype with us now, we have a real life superhero. My personal favorite, the ones I mentioned earlier, uh, keeping the streets of Orlando, Florida, safe from evil. Uh, he's uh, re- one of a real life superhero, the man, the myth, the legend, Master, Master legend. legend. Master Legend, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. <laughs> Just okay? Uh, not one of your great days. Let's hear about that. What's going on? Oh, I I, I have so many ways that I'm battling evil, and uh, it takes a lot of concentration, a lot of hard work, and all. To, it's 
constantly perpetual battle against evil and trying to help people out, yeah, you never, know. And some days are better than others. I would imagine trying uh, to keep the streets safe like you do would cause a lot of aggravation. Hey, so let me uh, jump right into it and ask you. Every legend, every superhero has uh, a great super story, a great super background story. Tell us the how the legend of Master Legend came about. It, it really started a long time as I was a young kid. Uh, you know, it's something that's just in the blood. I was, I, I knew there was bullies in school and I, I was trying to stand up to the bullies back then and help out the other kids, you know, that didn't know how to fight too good. And, and so I would get in trouble. And, uh, and I was only like second grade I'm talking about. And I would get in trouble for fighting the bullies. So one day I'm walking home and I see some some magazines and stuff in somebody's garbage can. They were moving out. And what I found was a big stack of comic books. And I never seen comic books before. I didn't really know much about them. Um, I never had an actual comic book of my own. But when I got them, I, that was when the, the key was unlocked right there. And I said, there you go. I, now I know what to do. I'm going to make myself a mask and suit. And then I go, I'll pack it in my backpack. And then when I see the bullies, I'll throw on the mask and the, and the shirt and all that and go fight the guy and this and then run away. And I did it and it worked. And so that was how um, Master Legend was pretty much born. Well, uh, so describe your, I guess we'll call it a uniform and uh, where you got the idea for that. Oh, OK. I, I, I was going to mention one one thing here. When before I became Master Legend, I used to go by Captain Midnight. Then I right. became okay. Master Legend. All right. Yeah, I, I became Master Legend after learning lots of Kung Fu skills and from a real master that taught me. And and um, and then I was a, a stunt rider. And um, so so at the, when I used to do my motocross stunts and all that, people called me the legend. And then. I was in a class teaching Kung Fu then, and, and the kids, they knew I was the legend, and then they, it was, they, one of the kids says, Master Legend. And, and I said, wow, you know, that sounds good, but that, it was years later before I actually used that name. Yeah, it's got a ring to and it. And as for suit, this is how it, how it connects in with the suit. You see, a lot of the armor stuff you see is um, like motocross armor that I reinforce and I put metal inside of it and stuff to make it a little bit better and all. And so that's that's the um, and having the helmet, you know, very important. A lot of times, I, I wouldn't recommend any real life superheroes go around without a helmet. It's important, even uh, uh, when when riding a bike. So right, want to hear about. Weapons? Yeah, we'd like to hear. We got to yeah. know, right? What what weapons do you use? Oh. All superheroes have weapons, well, right? I I know y'all y'all know of the the Iron Fist. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I was hoping that was going to be your answer. We know all these Iron answers. Fist. We just want you to talk about them. Oh well, yes. Hey, y'all. Yes. Well, there's the Iron Fist, which has even made it on the on the six o'clock news and all that. Where I was on West TV, you could check out that on YouTube also. And then I have the Iron Whip. And I'll another one okay. that right. not many people love. Then I have the cannon. Cannon. The potato gun, right? Yeah. Oh, you, shoot, you shoot ice cubes, yes, right? Yes, it's, it's the potato gun, but I modified it with um, a good quick fire um, mechanism there. Quick fire. Very good. And so there's there's a lot of tricks up sleeve, you know, but those are some of my main weapons that people like to know about. You know, of course, I got throwing stars and things like that, but I don't use that out in the streets. I don't even carry mace. Oh. See, here's the thing. I, I carry steel toe shoes because you know, I'm a construction site guy, and I got my steel toe Harley boots. And being a kung fu master, I really, you know, I, I don't want to even have to kick people all around with them boots, but I've done it before. That's yeah, for sure. Sometimes you have to, right? And, that's right. Sometimes oh, the only way they're going to learn. Got to save somebody. I, you know, there's times I prevented rapes and all, I prevented crimes and all kinds of stuff because, see, Crime prevention. I could teach the police a few tricks because crime prevention is a whole different category of catching someone after it's done. Yeah, and, and, it's, all for, and it's all for the greater good, right? And the only thing it doesn't. Yes, that's right, but it doesn't pay. You see, uh, can't if you uh, prevent a crime, no, they didn't make any money. You know, so so that's how it goes there. So crime doesn't but pay, I, or I, preventing crime doesn't pay. Which one doesn't? Pay? None of it pays. Nothing <laughs> pays. No matter what, you don't get paid. I see. Uh, so no, I'm saying, I'm saying that the police make money and all that when they after someone commits a crime. But if you prevent a crime, 
they're not making any money. So that's what I said. Uh, crime yeah. prevention is different things. Well done. Crime uh, prevention or letting somebody do the crime and then go after them. So Batman's got a Batmobile, right? What does Master Legend yeah. get around in? Well, I've just recently designed myself. I know this sounds funny, but it's the way of the future. Go, I've right. got an electric, I'm excited. I've got an electric bike. <laughs> all right. It's fantastic. And it's that eco-friendly. Has, yeah. Ninja, zip around like a ninja through the knife. You know? There you go. It's quiet. Yeah. You can get, sneak up I, on people. I can get by faster than traffic all jammed up. Where, and Master Legend can, uh, rides the shadows like a ninja in the night on his electric bike. Yeah, swerving in and uh, out of traffic, yeah, just cruising. you, you got to get where you got to be in a hurry. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, hey, you're a superhero. What are your superpowers? Well, I was born with a veil, and I died the moment I was born because the veil suffocated me. That and it's awful. Then I died a second time in my life, and then, then I was re- revealed secrets, mysteries, words that can't hardly even speak them when I seen what I seen, and... That's a lot of a story to get into, but it's a story of, of Metatron and the spirit of Metatron. Another part of my superpowers, how it ta- came to be, I went out to Marie Laveau's grave. This was a witchcraft queen up in New Orleans. Now, she, oh, no. her, she's very famous. That's where I'm from. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. And so this lady, this witchcraft queen was a very, very um, famous woman, and people used to go to her grave and mark an X on the grave. And then they would, you know, make a wish. And I went and I wished for superpowers. I wanted superpowers. And uh, so at first, I, I, after I made the X on the grave, I went and I tried to lift up a car, and I couldn't do it. And But then I ventured on deeper into the graveyard, and there was this mausoleum into the back of the graveyard where I walked inside of it to do a little searching and, and my brother was with me, the secret weapon. And we're inside of there and we're young kids now still. And the door slams, bang, there was no one there to slam it. It just a uh, spirit or whatever it was, oh, evil man. energy. And so I'm in there and we're trapped in there. We're trying our best to get out of there, sealed in the thick cement an iron door from the medieval time seemed like and I said if there's a time for the power it's now and I just ran at that door and I gave it a flying kick and I mean this big metal door and the framework and all ripped right out of the concrete unbelievable bolts. was this before or after and you knew Kung Fu cemented into the walls and bang you can hear me tell the whole story on, on YouTube um, I, I tell the whole story oh, okay uh, I have to look that up adventure we saw you on YouTube, and uh, if, if anyone's listening out there, you, you go check it out. It's on YouTube. HBO did a whole series on on real life superheroes, and Master really? Legend, you were pretty much the uh, the champion there. Um, so you, when you're not fighting crime, which I'm, I know that the entire state of Florida is grateful for you for, uh, for doing that, but when you're not fighting crime, what do you do? I try to help homeless people out, anyone that needs help, crippled people. For instance, there's a lady I've been looking after, making sure she gets groceries. I, I know that's not super heroic. And then I every I, little bit yeah. counts. Yeah, okay. I think it counts. It's man. definitely a heroic deed sir. to do. I picked her up off the street a few times, but she almost got hit by a car. So I guess there's <laughs> one time. And I'll, now there's a time I'll jump right into action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Jump in there. <laughs> I ran across the Orange Blossom Trail, and on. I seen her staggering, and sure enough, she fell, and it was right halfway leaning in the road, and cars are zipping. I just ran. I got her up. Um, I've had to do it a few times, actually. She's fallen down, but that one time, she fell out halfway in the, in the road there. Oh, wow. You're like her guardian then, angel. There's, there's lots of people I help out in ways, you know, one or the other. There was fa- there's a family I know of. They they didn't have much, so I made sure, you know, I'm Master Legend threw him a little something for Christmas. Okay, Master uh, Legend. All right. Yeah. He's, he's a, not only a superhero, but he's a fantastic he's a, guy. Yeah, you're an all-around good dude. Uh, so, hey, I, I imagine that uh, 
that fighting crime and and keeping the streets safe of evil, safe of evil, uh, is stressful. How do you uh, how do you settle down? How do you just uh, relax and calm down? Booze. Well, I like to play my electric guitar. I like to play my heavy metal. All right. And I you know, play the keyboard a bit. Um, and you know, sometimes I get a thirst quencher every now and then. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Thirst quench. You mean a Gatorade? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what's your What's your beer of choice? I think we know, and I just wanted you to tell our audience. Right now, well, it's not Bush anymore. Oh, I, it's change it up. Uh, oh, up. Sponsorship change. Yeah. Just switch it up every now and then. But Miller, I, I like Miller. Miller Lite, okay. Miller, okay. Miller, Miller Lite. Miller Lite or... Full no, pack. just regular Miller. Oh, so and if there were a Master a, Legend signal, would it just be like a big bottle of Miller projected into the sky? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Master Legend symbol, um, yeah, yeah, they could do that, you know, if it was the official <laughs> symbol. I don't care. I mean, because I'd come running, too. So uh, how about relationship? Is there a Ms. or Mrs. Legend uh, in the future? Well, I, there's a there's a girl, well, you know, with Master Legend, I... I I just can't devote myself to one woman. Oh, hey! <laughs> you got a, You have a couple women. That's a greedy man. A gr- I would be a greedy man. So, so what I do is I I stay single, and I try to I try to be there for them damsels in distress. Yeah, <laughs> you have to be. <laughs> the, As a superhero, no, you got to be there. You got to be there for all of them. action. You know, saving the day once again. Uh, listen, you're you're amazing. You're incredible. Um, uh, I guess are you going to keep going with this? Uh, I, I, mind if we ask how old you are? I'm fifty. You're fifty. Is you going to keep going with this? You going to recruit others? Is this going to be? Is Master Legend going to be around for the rest of my life? Um, you know, the real life superheroes have grown to thousands around the world now, and my my TV show on Amazon's coming out. TV show. Oh, nice. What's oh, it called? It's... Oh, yes. Check it out. If you just Google Master Legend, you'll see John Hawks will be playing me in the, in the show. No shit. I'm All excited. Right. <laughs> well, we'll do definitely you, be checking that out. Do you Master approve, do you approve of him playing you? Not, not fighting crime and helping the homeless. I'm hopping on airplanes, running to Hollywood, too. Master Legend, I, I cannot thank you enough for coming on the show and hanging out with us. You got about five more minutes, us. We usually play the game at the end of this uh, the podcast. We call it Factor Fucked, F U C T, so it's not absurd. Uh, would you, do you have five minutes to play with us? Play. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for Factor Fucked. This is what I'm going to do I'm going to tell you a real live superhero. And you tell me if this guy is actually real or if he's fake. Can I take the one that's Master Legend? Because that's real. No, he is real. <laughs> he's on with us now. Master Legend, you're going to play with us. You're going to start with Steve. Oh, Jesus. Roger Hayhurst of Salford, Greater Manchester, UK, a.k.a. Night Warrior. That's with a K. A gardener by day, masked crime fighter by night, spends his evening breaking up fights and tackling bad behavior. Fact or fucked? I'm going to say fact. What do you think, Master Legend? It's true. He really was doing all that, but I believe he's retired now. That is... uh, he got, got beat up and jumped, and um, I, I believe that's what happened to him. That is exactly true. That is fact. Well wow. done, both of you. And he did retire, I guess, uh, at March 2013. He got uh, him and his girlfriend, Night Maiden. Night Maiden. Uh, they hung up their cape when he was attacked, but people recognized him out of character. Collected the well, superhero pension. Done. All right, number two. Pat. <clears throat> Wow, I'm number two, huh? Robert DeManor of Sydney, Australia, a.k.a. the Battle Axe, dresses in all black leather jumpsuit and searches for possible DUIs outside of the bars after his sister was killed by a drunk driver. Fact or fucked? I'm going to go with fucked because I feel like everyone in Australia is driving drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Master Legend? I, I've never heard of him, so I don't know. Sorry, i never heard of him. You are right. That is fuck. Well done. <laughs> uh, uh, singer. Now you're going to play Darius. Darius. Chris Pollock, Manhattan, New York, a.k.a. the Dark Guardian, in a costume reminiscent of a leather biker suit, backed by years of martial arts training, he keeps Washington State Park safe by preventing fights, mugging, and even wage war on local drug dealers. Fact or fuck? That's true. I'm going to say, I was going to say fucked. <laughs> It's fact. Oh, Master I Legend wins Master now. Master Legend is correct. Why <laughs> don't you ever go against Master Legend? <laughs> don't go against the... He knows everything. He's never wrong. He's got super psyche on sight. He's never wrong. Why would you go against him? Master Legend has never been wrong. Do you know that? 
Darius. You, I, no, you, I know. <laughs> if you miss another one, I'm going to give you the Iron Fist. <laughs> Iron Fist yourself. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway. Steve. Hey. Thanatos, real name unknown, Vancouver, Canada, wearing a black trench coat, black hat, and green skull mask. He takes a community involvement approach to the vigilante justice, passing out food and clothing to the people on the street, even though he still keeps an eye out for any crimes that may cross his path. Except for the Olympics. Fucked. Fucked. Master Legend? No, it's true. That's he's, he's true. A- <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's one of the real good guys. He's a real old guy now. He's and I say old guy. I forget. I'm fifty, but but he's old and um he does. He's he goes out there and uh, I've seen the videos and all. He does what he can and all. And <clears throat> I've I've known him for years, over ten years now. I had that one last time and I missed it last time too. <laughs> <laughs> Pat. Again, uh, can I let Master Legend answer first, and I'll just agree with whatever he says? Sure, okay. Right. <laughs> Master Legend, we'll start it's with all, you. It's all in Master Legend. Don't do it. I Mas- didn't go Master Legend, it. Pin Koshiyama, aka Jump Jump, from Victoria, Hong Kong, trained the discipline of parkour. She rules the streets by stopping pickpockets and purse snatchers. She's been accredited to solving over two hundred and twenty crimes. Master Legend, fact or fucked? See, I think I may have heard about it, but I don't have enough information to be able to give um, a real answer. I, I just, I, I know, I, I believe I've heard of this person in Japan. It's another person, the Red Arrow, and uh, but, but I can't, I can't say for sure on that one. So if you're not sure, we'll go with fuck. Yeah, and Pat, you're saying the same thing. Yeah, fuck. It's fucked. That's not a real person. Hey, well done, Master Legend. You know it all, though. Why don't know why anyone would even go against Never you? Never been wrong, Darius. 2007, in South Shields, UK, a gang armed with chains and knives attacked two, two unarmed detectives. Out of nowhere, a man leaped into fight, swinging a katana, caught one of the gang members in the arm, and the rest of them turned and ran. The flashing blade, as he is nicknamed by police, disappeared and was never seen again. Fact or fuck? Sounds like a fact to me. Fact, Master Legend? I'm sorry, I just never heard that story before. Um, I, maybe there's so, something kind of close to it I may have heard, uh, but I'm sorry, um, that, I just don't know for sure there either. That one is a fact, actually, Master. Hey, <laughs> wow, good <laughs> job, Darius. Make it up for my last one. <laughs> All right, a few that's more. Good. That's great. I'm glad he's out there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. He's one of your kind, Master Legend. Um, a few more, and then we'll let you go. Uh, Wheel Clamp Man, Perth, Australia. Uh, he, his main heroic activity is full-fledged crime. He patrols Perth with an angle grinder and cuts wheel clamps off cars that have been illegally parked. Dressed in a skin-tight green leotard, rainbow socks, and glue-on mustache, Wheel Clamp Man has only been working in the area for a relatively short time, but motorists are grateful for helping him avoid a $135 fine. Fact or fucked? Stay. Fucked. Master Legend? From what I under, I've heard and I've actually talked to the guy, it's a, it's a fact. That is a fact. <laughs> yeah, I missed yeah. that one last time, too. <laughs> See, but I disagree, though, man. Like That's not a superhero. He's helping people that are breaking the law. That's <laughs> bullshit. By breaking the law again. Yeah. <laughs> two wrongs don't make a right, yeah. but two rights make an error. Yeah, well, I heard, I heard he's out of business. It didn't last long. Yeah, he said it was a yeah, short time. He can only do that so long. <laughs> uh, old, it's, he, it's old news. I, I heard about him a long time ago, and then you don't hear many more adventures, <laughs> Maybe he's in the slammer right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more. Ludicrous St. John, a.k.a. the Potty Snatcher, Great Britain. They've only seen a few times wearing what looks to be a greenish-yellow one-piece bathing suit. The Potty Snatcher is known uh, for macing petty thieves, purse snatchers, and a few spouse abusers, leading them to the port loos or the port johns and trapping them inside with duct tape. Just based on the name, I'm going to say fucked. Fucked? That sounds, that's too crazy for me to even believe. <laughs> too crazy for Master Legend. Yeah. And you guys are right. That one's fucked. Last oh, one. I'm awesome at this. Oh, I'm the last one. All last right. one, Darius. Ken Andre, a.k.a. Shadow from Somerset, UK, studying the martial art ninjutsu uh, since he was a child. Shadow spends up to four nights a week out and around his home of Somerset, stopping drug dealers, muggers, and only using Batman-esque hearing aid to amplify his sound. I'm going to go with uh, fact. Fact? Master Legend? 
you know, I'm going to go with fact two because I actually have those kind of hearing amplifiers. I'm holding them in my hand right wow. now. You're holding right now. Nice. Wow. That is a fact. Well done. Yes. You guys I, killed you it. You guys did great. I did terrible. Yeah, Steve, not so much. Master okay. Legend. One and two. Master Legend, we cannot thank you enough for coming and hanging out with us. Hey, uh, let everyone know where they can find you next because we're going to plug you all over Facebook and Twitter and everything. I have a, the fan page, Master Legend. That's all. That's the way to contact me. And from there, you can see other ways to contact me. I have a website up to it's Master Legend website, Master Legend Wix. Wix, W I X? Yeah, like the Wix page, slash Master yeah. Legend, actually. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you, anything else you want to say to all your. Uh, t- let's say, anything you want to say to the bad guys out there, the real supervillains? Well, you know, there's a lot of things I'd like to say to them, but to maybe sum it up, you know? Or yeah, sum it up for us. Evil ways, them evil ways are only going to be your death in the end. That's Whoa. the evil oh way. God. That will come sad. back to you, and and that's how it is when you live that kind of life. Master Legend, you are truly a legend. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank thanks you so much. much. Thanks for awesome. hanging out. Um, if you guys want to find out more about the Weekend Superheroes, you can find us at WeekendSuperheroes.com, uh, Facebook.com slash uh, Weekend Superheroes, Twitter.com slash WKND Superheroes. Spreaker, Stitcher. <laughs> uh, you iTunes, guys, Google Play. Darius, you want to say goodbye to Master Legend? Goodbye, Master Legend. And goodbye, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good night, villains, and watch your back. <laughs> Steve. If I ever need a superhero, I know who I'm calling. Master, Master Legend. Legend. Master Legend, thank you so much. And always remember, guys, to podcast responsibly.